The next category is home ownership, and there are two winners. The first winner is Northstone and Hickory. Purchasing a subdivision in the wake of the Great Recession would be a challenge for any organization, but especially for one facing a financial drought from the traditional lending sources and charitable contributions it depended on. Nevertheless, Habitat for Humanity of Catawba Valley did just that, taking a leap of faith to buy Northstone in 2010. The price of the fully developed neighborhood was certainly right, $170,000. But more than that, the purchase represented Habitat's commitment to affordable housing in Catawba County, which had been identified as having the oldest housing stock in the state. Weaving together public and private funding, Habitat made the purchase and then worked for five long years securing sponsorships and donations to build the first house. Today, the neighborhood is more than halfway complete and is the first mixed income community in the county. When finished, it will consist of 10 affordable and eight market rate homes. Habitat was able to add the market rate homes thanks to a local philanthropist who envisioned that proceeds from those home sales could be a revenue stream for Habitat. Habitat's commitment to the mixed income community began with the realization of the socioeconomic benefits for homeowners, including more authentic neighbor interactions and greater social mobility for the youngest residents. Children moving into mixed income neighborhoods have 16% higher earnings as adults, are 9% more likely to be employed, and generate $22,000 of additional tax-based revenue in their lifetime. If a child moves in before the age of eight, the benefits are even greater. These gains persist through generations. In designing the homes, Habitat worked with its architect to create modern housing with the traditional 1920s bungalow charm. The home's aesthetic is enhanced with wooden siding, historic paint colors, and architectural roofing shingles. Attached storage space at the back of the homes frees lawns from clutter. The two, three, and four bedroom Habitat homes range in size from 1,100 to 1,300 square feet and have an average sales price of $130,000. The interiors promote a healthy living environment with sealed crawl spaces, dehumidification systems, and indoor air quality improvements. All homes are handicap accessible and can be easily modified to accommodate residents with disabilities. Focused on long-term affordability, Habitat built the homes to the U.S. Department of Energy's Zero Energy Ready Standards. In 2016, two North Stone homes were certified as the first Zero Energy Ready homes in the state. Habitat works to ensure homeowner success with Habitat 101, an intensive pre-purchase education curriculum. Applicants take financial literacy, home maintenance, and landscaping classes prior to closing. While helping individuals and families achieve home ownership is always the goal, Habitat sought to go beyond that with Northstone by building community. The neighborhood's layout was designed to facilitate community gatherings and connections. Living space in the homes was intentionally placed in the front to encourage homeowners to come outside and connect. A picnic shelter and garden, as well as future walking trail, make community get-togethers easy. For residents, Northstone has become the home and community that many have long dreamed of. Growing up, I stayed in one trailer park, and it didn't stay in one trailer. It was from multiple trailers in that trailer park. We'd leave, come back, had to get a different one. Leave, come back, had to get a different one. So that is how my life is. You never do get comfortable in one place long. You know what's well, the point of unpacking eventually. So uh, that's one thing I hate is moving. But seeing the same walls year in, year out, that's going to be a new experience of actually having that security of staying in one spot and not having to move. I'm hoping that when they get at least living here after a year, their asthma stops, where they don't have to worry about being on a inhaler, a nebulizer, taking allergy medicine out the wazoo, um, don't get sick as much, can, can stay in school, all the better. That means I can sleep better and don't have to worry about going to the doctor as much. Once I get moved in, hopefully, I can get my kids to where they're actually saving money up for their own future, to where they can go get their own homes. That dream of having a uh, pretty house with a white picket fence is still my main dream to have. Been having that now for a while, so. Hard to believe, but I'm that type of person that always likes to mow my own grass plant flowers, have a little garden out in the back, and allow the kids to actually go play in their own backyard and not have to worry about sharing a yard with anybody. 
The North Carolina Housing Finance Agency provided zero-interest participation loans to the Habitat, and the City of Hickory contributed funds for down payment assistance. Receiving plaques are Habitat for Humanity of Catawba Valley and the City of Hickory.